It is now official. St. Luke's Hospital in Maumee is closed and a week earlier than its owner McLaren announced it would close. Fred Croce, he is joining us here this evening following this story throughout the day and joins us live from outside this former facility with what could be next and what it means for patients living near it. Trent? Jeff, just minutes ago, the doors to, well, now once was a hospital, closed for good at five. And Mercy Health bought this space, and their president says they're still planning what to do with it. I also spoke with Medica's chief medical officer, who says they're also preparing for what's to come. Maintenance, boiler plant operators, housekeepers, dietary, HR, um, finance staff, Really, we've looked at needs across all of those areas. Mercy Health's President Bob Baxter says these positions are just as important to a hospital's operation as the clinical staff. Baxter says they've been working to match them with Mercy's seven other hospitals in the area and others too. The work that St. Luke's is doing, that we're doing in conjunction with St. Luke's, that'll minimize any disruption to the physician practices. And then we can bring them into our facilities if that's where they choose to go, really in a very seamless manner. Baxter says much of the focus has gone into the Perrysburg Hospital seven minutes away. The five-year-old hospital has added new treatment bays, providers and staff, and has opened up all the beds. However, he says not everyone can work at the Perrysburg spot where staff find most convenient. Made efforts to make sure they've met managers in our other facilities and our other departments, had a chance to get to know the opportunities there, staff there, things like that. Just east of St. Luke's on the Anthony Wayne Trail, Prometica's Emergency and Urgent Care Center has prepared for a potential influx of patients, hiring a couple hundred staff. I think as employees have transitioned to come to work for Prometica, uh, it increases our capacity and we're comfortable that we can take care of the capacity that, that's present. It's not just the location in Maumee. Prometica says all its facilities are ready Ready for this transition. You know, we take it very seriously. These people went through, have gone through some really difficult times and we want to meet them at their need. And this Tuesday in Waterville and then the following Tuesday in Maumee, Mercy has invited the community to provide input for what they want to see. 